of damage. How about a little more? <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage. But wait, there's more. Out of a man. You. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video, Damage Dealt Gaming. This is Damage Dealer, and do I got some information for you guys? Yes, yes, and yes. Human shields are 100% coming in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Now you're probably wondering, how do you know that, Damage Dealer, with your 404 subscribers? And I'll tell you how I know. Uh, Black Ops 6 gameplay is leaked everywhere and this was like one of the first things i looked for was the human shields because you know i made a video on it before so you know before you go all buck wild on me could it be removed of course it could before the game releases but as of right now it is in the game and you're probably wondering how it works well i spent quite a few hours watching videos of gameplay and trying to figure that out for you and i finally did and here it goes i'm going to tell you exactly how it works so how this works is when you come up behind somebody in game usually you get the execute button right you see a little prompt pop up that says to execute them in modern warfare 3 well in this case it pops up to take them as a human shield your guy takes out his pistol or weapon this just so far it's been a pistol and he pistol whips them in the back of the head then grabs a hold of them while they're kind of knocked and dazed or whatever you want to call it. They're dazed. You grab a hold of them. You put your arm around their neck slash chest area and you start walking with them. Then a prop pops up in the middle of your screen. It's like a small timer wheel that starts to count down as soon as you grab them up. You have that much time before they escape. And yes, they do take rounds. They will take rounds for you while you shoot over their shoulder with a pistol. Now... The ways that this can work differently, there's three ways. Either you can take them as a human shield and use them until they go slump. You literally see the character like slump over when they've taken so many rounds, which I'm guessing that the character is dead at that point because once he's used up and out of the way and that timer goes away, he just kind of falls onto the ground and he's done for. Another thing that can happen is you take them as a human shield and you use them up the whole time and they're still walking with you and as soon as that timer runs out, you kind of just let go of them like they break loose out of your grip and then they're, they're free to go. The third thing that can happen is you can take somebody as a human shield and while you're using them as a human shield, you can get shot yourself instead of him and you will die off of them and they will still be alive. So in a sense, they get rescued. So that's what I've seen so far. Those are the three things, three animation differences that I've seen for the human shields. And honestly, this is freaking awesome. I mean, there's going to be so many funny clips of people using other people as human shields and doing all types of things. I, I can't wait to see it. It's actually going to be super entertaining and I'm super excited to see it. But I just had to get this video out to you guys real quick to let you know that human shields are a thing and wanted to give you a little insight on how they work. So... Hopefully you guys are excited for this, like I am. I mean, I, I think this is a cool little mechanic here. And if you are excited, please give the video a like. It took me a little while to get the research done on this. And if you could, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the human shields. Either way, I'll catch you guys on the next video. But remember... Anything negative is no bearing on me. If you would hit the like so I can feed my family, never trust anyone on YouTube. They're all liars and scammers. Nothing I've said in this video should be taken to heart unless you're a loser who thinks the world revolves around them at all times. Thank you and peace out.